How important is this for FSD? How important is this for the Tesla business model? It's, it's an incremental step. And I do think that there's some potential for uh, what Tesla markets as full self-driving to be uh, a more meaningful contrib contributor to their business in China, which they could really use at the moment. Mm. Uh, but we, what we don't know is just how long it's going to take them to be able to offer this more widely. Even this incremental step that, that we're you know, reporting on today really just applies to the city of Shanghai and, and potentially also Hangzhou, uh, another city. And so we're not necessarily seeing China take the same sort of hands-off approach that we've seen in the U.S., where you know they've been able to offer you know FSD nationwide, and and it, it wasn't all that much trouble for them to make this available to consumers. On the other hand, in, in China, they're really going to have to sort of you know in piecemeal fashion, uh, you know hit hit the uh, sort of tick the boxes that they need to with regulators in order for consumers to be able to activate this. And it feels as though Musk has realized that he needed these green lights coming from regulators. He made whistle-stop tours to Beijing and actually, therefore, having to play alongside all the other Chinese EV makers. Yeah, that's right. And, and this has been, you know, months in the making, e even before that recent trip to Beijing that you mentioned. Uh, you know, this, this is a case of Tesla having, you know, offered the ability to buy this if you're a customer in China, uh, but, you know, not being able to actually activate it and, and you know, be deployed the, the sort of ability to, to turn this on. And so, you know, I think there are still a lot of questions about, you know, just how willing Tesla is to continue to charge as much as it has for this system, uh, depending on, you know, how much uh, sort of capability it's able to offer, because this is all going to be up to the regulators. And again, I think they're going to, you know, the, the likelihood that they're going to be as permissive as the U.S. has been, you know, where, where Washington has, has taken this view that we don't want to stand in the way. We want to offer, you know, driver assistance systems, you know, plenty of leash to try and, you know, offer, uh, you know, the, the sort of safety benefits yeah. without, you know, getting in the way. That, that still remains very much an open question.